Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to view your Snapchat zipped data file. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now let's open up the Snapchat app here and say you went through the process of requesting that data file. When it is ready, you'll get an email and it says your Snapchat data is ready for download. So you can open it and it says, please click here and it'll open up a website where you can log in. But instead of going through all of that, if you're already logged in on the Snapchat app, you can access it there as well. It's a bit easier and quicker. So let's open up Snapchat again and tap on your profile at the top left. Tap on the gear icon at the top right. And then we'll just scroll down until we get to my data. Now you'll be able to see at the very top, one export is available. I can hit see export and download and then download. So on my iPhone, it'll download that specific zip, specific zipped file or on your Android as well. We're gonna have to navigate to where that file is. So I'm gonna open up the files app here on my phone and I'm gonna navigate to on my iPhone and downloads. And there it is, there's my zip data. I can tap on it to open it, tap on it, and open the folder and tap on HTML. Now it'll show me a bunch of different things, my account history, my chat history. You can see I can go in my chat history and see a bunch of different conversations with different people on here. I can also scroll down and for instance, go to friends or location history or memories or snaps, snap history, story history, talk history. Let's for instance, go to friends. And you'll be able to see it shows all of my current friends. I can scroll through here. It shows when we became friends. It'll show me friend requests that I've sent out. If I scroll towards the bottom here, it will show blocked users, deleted friends, and at the very bottom, pending requests and shortcuts. So you can see a bunch of different information about your specific account, and it's all put together in this specific folder that you can keep on your iPhone or Android or any other place as kind of a backup of your account. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.